Ever start to drive your car down the street and it felt like something was holding it back? Then you looked down and saw the emergency brake was still on. When you took the brake off, the car, boom, started to really move. Well, the same thing happens to your presentation when you ditch the agenda slide. In this video, I'll show you why and what to do if you have that boss who still insists you use an agenda slide. Think of your favorite action movie that you've seen recently, maybe The Avengers. Did you like how it started with an agenda slide that told you what all of the superheroes planned on accomplishing in the next two hours? Of course not, because no one would start an action movie that way. It would slow things down before they even got started. Well, the same thing happens with presentations. Here are three reasons not to use an agenda slide. Reason number one, they make your audience feel overwhelmed. Right out of the gate, you hit them with five, six, nine things you want to accomplish. Overwhelmed does not put your audience in position to take action. Reason number two, the audience will keep count. Let's say you have an agenda with seven things on it. Well, after you get through that fourth item on the agenda, your audience members are sitting there thinking, oh, we still have three more things to do, ugh. Reason number three, it limits your flexibility. Show the agenda slide, then get off track. Well, now you have to run long to get everything accomplished or sheepishly say, sorry, we didn't get to everything. A presentation that runs long or ends with regrets is a regrettable presentation. If you don't show the agenda slide, then no one but you knows everything you wanted to accomplish. It gives you far more flexibility. Okay, let's say that you have the boss. You know the one, the one who insists you have to use an agenda slide. That's how we do things around here. Yeah, we've all met that one. Here's your workaround. Open the presentation with a story, an exercise, a great photo that sets the tone you want to create. That is, after all, the role of the open. Then slip in the agenda slide as the second slide in the deck and don't linger on it. You keep the boss happy and you don't bore the audience. Winner, winner. The only person who needs to know your agenda is you. Your audience wants a great presentation, not a checklist. Give your audience your attention, not your agenda, and watch the magic start to happen. Until next time, the haze in the barn.